Uh, so today for Q and A, I got you Lakme and uh, one more person, Sweta. I think so. Sweta, are you there? Um, hi. Hey, hi. So I think you you guys can introduce. So before doing that, just give me one or two minutes intro from my side. So this is gonna be Q and A session, more or less. Uh, I gonna just ask them uh, how they prepared and uh, after completion of the program, what are all the steps they made? I just want. I'm even. I'm curious uh, to know that. And even they are gonna share their experience, how they are uh, working as a data scientist. That's the major plan of today's lecture. So means uh, in the last in case if we have the time, I think even other people can pose the questions. I think if uh, Lakme or Sweta, if they are interested, they can revert to that. So that's the major plan of today's lecture. So uh, I, I will be just handing over to Lakme and Sweta. You can any of you can start first introducing and we can get into it. Uh, yeah, so hi, uh, this is Lakme, and uh, yeah, so it was uh, almost five years after getting into IT, I made a transition to data science. So uh, I, I am very sure that many of you in the class would be working on some, you know, other field or other domain. So um, yeah, it's been like five years in operations, and uh, I, I had this. Uh, you know interest or the urge to get into data science so that is how i uh, you know uh, made this transition so yeah so now it's been like uh, two and a half months or so um when i'm working with uh, ab and bev it's the parent company of uh, uh, you know all these beers like budweiser corona and uh, uh, you know, Lefe, Bex, and all that. I'm working as a data scientist there. Yeah. I guess Shweta can start. Yeah, Shweta, you can start, Shweta. Yeah. yeah. So I have been, uh, I used to work as a uh, tech support, my job where I started my work. So after two years, uh, I won't, I, initially I used to have it, but uh, I didn't got chance. So later, uh, one of my friends joined here. Uh, he made well with the, with machine learning and everything. So I thought that why can't I move and I, sh I too wanted to shift my career. So that is how I started uh, researching about which institute to choose and which lang which uh, in data science, there will be so many AI like that. So which one to choose? And I started like that. And that is how I got into Big Tech Solutions. And later it, um, uh, I joined in August, I think in September, I was, uh, I joined the machine learning course in BPEC solutions. And later after that, uh, it, I completed my course in uh, November or something like that. So from then I start, uh, from then uh, Kant has given projects to complete. He first asked us to uh, complete that project and then he'll be tell he said that he'll be having mock interview and everything so uh, after completing the project i asked him for the mock interview so uh, i was very uh, tensed at that time but he uh, said how to uh, how to attend the interview and everything and what i how i prepared for the interview in the sense mainly i watched cmla class and you try Sweta, to use uh, kind of one second with uh, i will be okay. just uh, asking you the things so you can explain it so okay. uh, and yeah we can get into it uh, first i will be uh, starting with uh, one of the another so meanwhile guys if anyone are having the queries you can post it in the chat i, I may ask them so if you have any questions in your brain i think even uh, you, our audience can take up the things and you can post it in the chat i ask them so um, i will be going with um, first uh, yeah like me uh, i just want to uh, know how's your job profile by the way so before getting into how you prepared i just want to ask the first question is uh, how exactly your 
job and all this, how you are making it out, and how you are enjoying. Mm -hmm. I already know about you, Hackney, <laughs> but you can <laughs> you can say that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you know, until I got a job, it was just like you know, this was the only target I had in mind. Okay, go crack some interview. So guys, I'm telling you, it's it's not mandatory that you have to crack some interview in the first go. Okay, just the you have to prepare for mock interviews and all that. Be prepared, but you know, don't be disappointed or something if you don't get through it in the first go, because it's just a learning, right? So, uh, you know, once you start attending interviews, you get that confidence and, you know, you understand uh, what kind of questions uh, they ask and, you know, what what the interviewer is expecting from you. OK. I'm there. I'm there like me. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that's, right. that's one main thing. And. Uh, what I would suggest you guys is when you uh, start learning a topic or you know the process that you guys are actually doing a data science project, make sure uh, you know you are well versed with a with a topic before you jump to the next one. Okay, so um, when you say like data gathering and data preparation, it it is very important for you guys to you know. Um, have some of the domain knowledge okay so uh, similarly based on that you will select feature do feature elimination or uh, you know all such stuff so it is better you you know a topic very well before you simply uh, you know learn half of uh, whatever topic you have learned and skip skip and go to the next one so this is one thing i would suggest and yeah, don't don't be scared of interviews because just assume that the first one is just a trial and error kind of thing. You know, as in when you go on attending interviews, you get an idea, like you know, what you have to learn and all that. And Khan's CMLA class, as Shweta mentioned, uh, it's really good. You you'll have a fair idea of what happens um, you know, exactly on role. And uh, yeah, so once I joined this company, it was it was pretty different over here. Okay, like every company uh, operates in a different way, as you guys know. So here it is like you are the owner for whatever project you take. So uh, here it's like um, you have to talk to the business, gather data, and you know if you don't know the domain, uh, you have to Google learn how how it operates see for example i'm just giving you an example okay if you get some uh, project in uh, travel and logistics you first have to know supply chain how how things work in logistics and all that just google you have like everything in google so once you're done you you get an idea of uh, you know what is important what kind of data you have to gather right so uh, it's like pretty much i have to uh, drive a project end to end from data gathering to uh, predicting what is required and uh, guys don't worry about the dashboard or the productization part because uh, most of the companies they have a team working uh, you know who's like solely working for the dashboards or you know things like power bi clickview and etc and if if you are not very um, you know aware of that also you can learn it on on the job only like it, it's not a big thing so yeah this is what i do okay like me and uh, i'll be asking even uh, sweta i think it's been like few days how your experience is yes. sweta yeah, yeah you can say that yes um, uh, basically the company which i joined was a pharmaceutical company so mm -hmm. it was in a starting stage can't like it's like in a web scraping like scraping the data okay. and everything so my role there was is to i should be writing code on selenium automation testing like that means python by okay. using python i needed to scrape the data so what okay. i here like what i have learned is uh, different but here 
what i'm doing is like i should learn Different. by googling it yeah yeah that's true i think yes. you got some uh, problem exactly. statement based on that requirement uh, you may be working on yes. it i think so yes is can't. it right yeah yes can't. okay Mm -hmm. So any challenges how you're facing what type of challenges majorly I think programming kind of challenges you may be facing right? Yes, son. so I'm learn uh, Yes, like uh, everything I'm googling it. I'm learning new things oh. So challenges so, uh, here is something mm -hmm. like uh, Mostly I'm able to do it okay so uh, well uh, i just want to ask one question even uh, i'm very much interested on one uh, simple thing so uh, i think while people are learning while people are preparing for interviews they may be having one doubt i think uh, even you guys are some the same route like uh, even you've gone through decision trees random forest gradient boostings and uh, nlp and uh, even support vectors neural networks etc so these are the mm -hmm. algorithm points where exactly so after uh, even when we start with machine learning the entire game going to be something like a pretty uh, big race so you need to learn a lot of theory you need to remember a lot of things and not only that uh, even in huh? interview there, there is a scope for multiple areas so that's been uh, one of the major challenge for every learner and uh, not only that after completion of all this even i say try to go through cmla program and all this and uh, this is one thing means it's like a preparation chain everything so i need to know yeah. more about how you used to handle the preparation and uh, for everyone memorizing decision trees or this algorithms being pretty tricky thing even for example i knew some of uh, your interview questions even i'm like uh, for yeah. lack me whatever the question interview she gone through i think uh, I'm, I'm like pretty much familiar with so how you used to manage uh, not exactly in the interview, but how exactly you used to manage this preparation, how you used to remember a lot of terminologies like L1, L2, time series, or algorithms, and all this, how you used to prepare it. That's something I'm curious to know, even that may add a value to other learners as well. Please. Yes, you can, anyone so like me, I use they can come, yeah. Mm. So how I used to remember is that for everything, I used to maintain a note scan. Uh, mm -hmm. like even whatever the class you used to tell no so in the next day you used to share the record right so in that recording every again and again i used to watch that recording and then i used to maintain a notes for everything because one time writing uh, writing equals 10 times reading yeah, right? Right, right. so mm -hmm. i used to maintain a notes for everything clearly and then i used to refer whenever i wanted it so that okay. is so yes okay so like me what about you uh, yeah so what i used to do is uh, say for example you finish a particular algorithm like linear regression so uh, i was not confined to what was taught in the class uh, i used to google after the class as well mm -hmm. because because you all know like data science is very vast okay there's a lot into it so you'll you'll always find something or the other new stuff coming in okay so you used to give us uh, projects and everything right yeah. more than anything i feel the practical uh, touch what you get no that is more important mm. you learn all theoretical you can mug it up last moment or you know it's it's better like you know if if you can't remember you have to write it down or the flow and everything once or twice you write it down if if you can't remember it after reading it for or going through it for three or four times but still the practical mm. knowledge is really important um, i i uh, want to tell you guys whatever projects you get you no know, during the class just make sure you finish them like it's not that on the same day or something you have to finish but but take your time learn everything and start off doing it practically because as in when you start coding right like you can google it and code or you know you can check if you do not know you can actually check how it's done or any anything related to coding you can check online and do it but uh, i suggest you please start doing it practically so that that is one of the best thing you can do 
because you'll actually remember 